What's up everyone? Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. We're teaching Anthony here how to do some shading techniques. I kind of talk to him. Tell him what I just told you, Anthony, here with this blending. Show him what you're doing. Show him what you're doing. Talk to him. You talk. I'll show All right, I'll tell you guys. Right here, what we're doing is, guys, we're pretending there's a light source back in behind this skull, back in, um, back in this way, behind the skull, coming in it this way. What we're doing is we're trying to get some, we're building some depth up here on this picture. We're starting out out here darker and coming lighter, darker, lighter on this edge here. Darker, lighter, darker, lighter. And I'm trying to show them to build up some layers here of some shade to make it look more like it's a 3D picture. And that's how you'll start making a picture look more 3D, more realistic is working it like this. He's going darker than lighter. And, and, and the he's pushing harder on the edge and getting easier as he comes in and it's not that way on every picture you don't do it that way on every picture it's just for this particular picture the way we're doing it we're building up shade and it all depends on your light source where your light source is coming from but like i said right now the light source is back in behind here shooting this way up at it so it's going to make the edge real crisp and dark show them how to work that blender a little bit anthony that's a blender there guys and gals what we're doing is we're blending it. We've been putting some depth into this picture here, trying to teach everybody. And I'm trying to show Anthony. See, he's starting out dark, pushing harder on the edge, and lighter as he comes in the middle. Pushing harder on the edge, and less as he comes to the center. Look how much it's starting to blend it in. Put a little bit of F, uh, let's put a little bit of uh, charcoal in there, Anthony, on the very edge. Now do this one real, real light. Let's do it really lightly. Start out on the edge real light, and then get even lighter as you come in. Now do it over here on the area you just worked. Start out real light, Anthony, because it, it's going to really put that charcoal down on there. We're using charcoal on these guys. Okay, just do it light. Now now build up your shade and work it towards this way, like we said. Guys, what he's doing is he's starting out, pushing a little harder here, and do it a little harder. Get a little more to where you start seeing the collar in there, Anthony. He's working this charcoal in there, and it's getting lighter as it comes this way. Yeah, there you go. It's starting to show on the camera too. And then what we do, easy. Now spin your pencil every now and then. Don't forget to spin it. Every now and then, y'all, you gotta spin these pencils. What I mean by spinning it is taking spin it one way or the other. Just spin it a little bit every now and then. Because what it'll do is it'll build up a doll spot on your pencil. Oh yeah, there you go. Now get lighter, lighter, lighter. That's it, Anthony. Just like that. Now, what them pencils will do, guys and gals, is. If you don't spin them, it'll build up a flat spot on your pencil and it'll end up cutting grooves into your paper, but it won't stay as dark. All right, now, yeah, lighter, lighter. Dark. Now, you see your, uh, see your touchy spots right there, Anthony? There's spots right there that are darker and light, darker than light. Take that right there and go ahead and fill them in. You see how it's dark here, dark here, but light in the middle? Mm -hmm. Fill them in and make it darker. Yeah, just like that. Now, go all the way down through there and hit that whole line. Go all the way down the side. Work all that in and make it all one color, basically. And then start shading and then lighten it up towards the center, just like you was doing. Now let's take our blender and work it in. Use this big one. Guys, these are blenders, and what you can do is you can get these for just a couple bucks out here at Walmart or any store. Now, just what I do first is just stroke it all the way across the edge, back and forth, real big. There you go, just real big broad strokes. And what that'll do is it really blends the picture in, guys, real well. See the difference? Go all the way to the edge here, yeah. Dude, that's making a major difference. Anyway, y'all, I hope y'all like this video. We're going to start having more how-to shade techniques like this. This is Brad Taylor and Anthony Brown here. Getting ready to sign out, y'all. I want to get you one big, uh, one good picture of the whole picture here, how it's coming together. We're going to do more blending pictures of techniques like this. See how it's starting to come together? It's looking more three-dimensional, looking more like it's got a roll to the picture. It's looking more and more realistic, and I'm trying to teach Anthony this and teach everyone here at the Shading uh, School here. Free drawing lesson slash how to draw. We're going to go up on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Guys, come check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram's I love to draw, uh, like, uh, what is it? I love to draw Brad Taylor 89, I think. I'll put that up in the description. I know the YouTube channel is I love to draw. 24-7 Brad Taylor. I love to draw 24-7 Brad Taylor. Signing out, guys. Peace.